Hi everyone, it's Bethany. In this video, I am working on creating some cute little onesies for our baby to be. And I am so excited because I found eight designs that I think are so pretty. I fell in love with them. All of the designs are gender neutral, as well as the colors that I have chosen. I am going to be focusing on gender neutral colors like grays and mints because we are waiting to find out the gender until birth. So. It's really out of character for me to not have everything so planned, but my husband absolutely loves the fact that it is one of life's most beautiful surprises to wait until the baby is born to know if it's a boy or a girl. And we did that with our first, and then of course it was so fun, so we did it with our second, and now that we are having our third, there's just no other way to go. So we're waiting again. It is really, really fun. So I'm gonna be doing gender neutral onesies and patiently waiting to see if we're having a boy or a girl. So I have some onesies here. They are Gerber onesies. I'll link them below. I just purchased them on Amazon in an eight pack and I always forget how small they are when they are brand new so I have a newborn size and I do that because um, I am focusing on a gender neutral design and so usually I only do the gender neutral thing for the first week or so and then I'm usually wanting to get all the cute outfits either boy or girl so I'm gonna be doing that size and then I have a little measuring tape to make sure I know how big or small to keep my design, a weeding tool and some scissors. And then I'm gonna be using the smallest of the easy presses so that I can get a really nice press on to the onesie. So we'll also be using the Cricut Explore Air 2. You can use any of the machines. In fact, the designs are also going to be so small that you could definitely use the Cricut Joy to do this project. So I'm gonna get a quick little measurement and I am thinking that I want my design to be about four inches across. I think that will be just about perfect. So let's go ahead and hop into design space. I'm gonna show you the files that I'm gonna be using. They're so cute. And then we'll get everything cut out on the machine and then ready to press on the little onesies. So let's start making some cute little apparel and I'm going to get my baby's little closet all filled with some cute little beginner outfits. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space, and here are the eight designs that I have chosen. I'll go ahead and link each of these below so you know where I found them, but they're so cute. Again, they're gender neutral, and also you could also change the colors to make them any color of iron-on that you wish. So what I'm going to do is I actually clicked on each one and I made them four inches across. And I think that's just gonna be just about perfect for the size of my onesie. I actually have cut out seven of the eight just to save time. So I am going to just cut out this for you today as a demonstration and I have the others all ready to press on the little onesies. So I'm gonna really quickly just hide all of my other designs. Actually, I can just delete them since I already have them all cut out and we will be all set to go. So I have this design that is going to be two colors. It's really cute. This is our third and final little one. So I loved this little saying of new to the tribe. I thought that would be really cute. So I have my explore selected. Again, you could use any cutting machine. These are really easy designs and they're really small so they could fit through the joy as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and say make it. And then when working with iron-on, you wanna make sure you mirror so I'm going to toggle over the little mirror button on each of my mats and then you will see that it makes the image backwards. So don't worry, it's going to do it correctly, but you want to make sure you mirror it for now. Okay, so now I will click continue and we'll wait for it to locate my machine. And I'm using Caesar Easy Weed for my iron-on or HTV. So I'm gonna browse all materials and the setting that I use for the Caesar Easy Weed is just the everyday iron-on setting. I'll go ahead and click done. And then we'll go ahead and load the gray mat first. And then the second mat with the two here will be our mint mat. The mirror again is turned on on each mat and then we're gonna place our materials shiny side down. Over on Expressions Vinyl's website, they have the Machines Setting tab, and that's where you're gonna locate the HTV settings chart so you know how long to press your design and at what temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that, and then I'm going to go ahead and scroll down, and I am going to find the Easy Weed, which is right here. We're gonna do 305 for 10 to 15 seconds. And it's gonna be a hot or cold peel and a medium pressure when actually pressing. 
Okay, so I still can't get over how small these are. It's just really making my heart happy. They're so, so sweet and cute. So we're gonna start with our gray. You're going to place the material shiny side down. So locate the shiniest side and then place that face down on your mat. Now, actually when you're doing onesies, this is a great little craft for your scrap material. So make sure you, when you're cutting off scraps from your bigger projects, make sure you're saving those because look how little this piece is. And we're not even using this entire piece for this part of the design. So go ahead and locate your scraps for projects like this that are smaller in nature. So I'll go ahead and get that cutting. The second one will be my mint color. And again, I will place that color side or shiny side down on the mat this way. Okay, so I'll go ahead and unload that. It looks perfect. What I'll do is make sure that I trim off my extra pieces of HTV. That way I can save them for additional crafts. And you wanna make sure you do your trimming before you weed it out so that you can save those. And then again, we'll use this little mint piece, color side or shiny side down on the mat, just like this. This is a really pretty color. I love crafting with this color. And again, load and cut. So while that's cutting, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my little easy press here. And I'm gonna turn the on button on. I'll click the temperature button and I will put that at 305. And then it's gonna be for 10 to 15 seconds. So I like to do the higher of the two. So I'd like to do the 15 seconds. And then we'll let that preheat. Okay, so I have both little pieces ready to weave. So I still have that shiny side face down and I'm just gonna puncture a little corner just to get that top layer. The top layer is gonna be the extra iron-on that we're removing that is not a part of our design. So we're just gonna remove that. And the bottom layer is the built-in carrier sheet. So we want that to stay intact because that's what's holding our design together and that's what we are going to press onto our shirt and then we'll peel that off later. So our little easy press has chimed, letting us know that that is all preheated and ready when we are. So let me finish getting out all the middles of the letters and right here. And then I turn my design over and just see if I have anything else that needs to be weeded out. It's always easier for me if I turn it over and actually see it written the correct way because it's easier for me to locate any mistakes that way. So that looks good. I'm gonna do the same for my second little piece. And these are my first onesies that I've made with my Cricut. So I'm really looking forward to this craft. It's something new. I'm always doing toddler t-shirts or adult t-shirts. So it's fun to make something on a teeny tiny little scale, plus with some fun little different designs. Okay. And once again, now I'm gonna go through and take out the middle pieces here, just like this. Okay, one more, there. Okay, now I'll turn this over. Looks like I have everything done, so that looks great. And this is how it will look on the shirt. So that'll be super cute. Okay, so now we are ready to get our designs pressed on. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my first little onesie. So cute, okay. You might wanna count how many times I say so cute in this tutorial because my heart is just overflowing right now with the size of these onesies, it's just adorable. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my press and I'm just going to preheat my material for five seconds. I did pre-wash my onesies. I like to pre-wash my material before I place iron on them. And so they're all ready to go. And then the little preheat just takes out any moisture or any humidity, anything like that, that may have been in the shirt. It also straightens it out really, really nice. So now what I can do is you can grab a measuring tape if you'd like. I just eyeball it. And I think I'm gonna go about an inch from this little collar up here. I think that will look really, really good. And then I'm not gonna press both at the same time, but I'm just going to lay both down just to make sure I like how that looks. I think I do, I might move it over just a little. Okay, so I'm gonna take that second layer off, 
grab my press and I'm just going to place that right on there. It said medium pressure, so I'm gonna put a little pressure into that and then let it count down from 15 seconds. Okay, and then I'm just gonna let that cool for a little bit. This is a hot or cold peel, so I'm just gonna kind of let it be a warm peel. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove my carrier sheet. It looks really, really good. And then I'm going to place my second design right on my onesie. Get that all lined up. Now, I don't want to press any of my exposed iron-on, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little protective sheet and get that placed over that gray. That way it's all protected for when I press again. Okay, so this is a little Cricut protective mat that I like to just place over the exposed iron-on, and that gives it a protective layer when placing the heat source back over it. I don't know that they sell this anymore. If they do, they've been out of stock for a very, very long time. You can also use some parchment paper as a nice protective barrier as well. So I'm going to go ahead and repress, and this is going to repress for 10 to 15 seconds again. And then once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and turn over my onesie and I'm going to press the back for an additional 15 seconds. So I will just turn that over just like so. Press the back. It doesn't say to do this on the website, but this has been a part of my Cricut workflow that I've gotten used to. So I've just added it to my workflow and I really like to do this part just to ensure that everything is well pressed onto the shirt. Okay, so now I'm again going to let that cool just for a second and then I will peel off that second sheet. Okay, so I'm just going to pull off my sheet monitoring and making sure everything has laid down. If not, I will just place the sheet back on and repress if any of the areas are coming up. And actually, I noticed a little area right there that is coming up, so I'm going to go ahead and actually I can just place my whole protective sheet on here. And I'm going to give that some more heat. Sometimes it just doesn't lay down perfectly the first time, and that's okay. You can just give it some more heat and it will ensure that it lays down and that it's really on there. Okay, there we go. Very cute. Okay, so I'm going to move on to my next shirt. Okay, so here we go. We're going to preheat for five seconds. I am so excited to show you guys this next design. It's so cute. Well, I guess you saw a preview of all of them in Design Space, so it's not a total surprise, but I loved this. This one says Milk Snuggle Nap Repeat, which is just adorable. Again, I'm going about one inch from the top of that little neckline and just making sure that's straight. Okay. And then placing my press right on top again, 15 seconds. Okay. And turn over and press again for 15 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and press the remaining shirts and then I'll reveal them as I'm done. Okay, so everything has been pressed and everything looks good. I just followed the same directions for each onesie that you saw me demonstrate. So we have new to the tribe, milk, snuggle, nap, repeat, get ready for a grand adventure, heaven sent, love that, sweet pea with a little heart, loved, so little, so loved, and a cute little rainbow because this is our little rainbow baby. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you in the next video.